Oh. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at two of Shu Uemura's new lipstick formulas, the Amplifieds. If you missed my event updates on IG stories, this is what the Shu Uemura Rouge Unlimiteds used to look like and they now have a new black packaging. The price point has shifted a little bit as well as expanded from $38 to $42 per lipstick and there are 155 shades in total now with the addition of the two Amplifieds. The Amplified lipsticks come in two textures, one is satin and one is matte and as you can imagine, Amplified just means amplified pigmentation. So they threw in a whole chunk of extra pigments to make the lipsticks more vibrant, more intense, but they did not add additional weight or texture. So the lipsticks are meant to feel incredibly lightweight and very, very comfortable on the lips. Because there are 155 shades in the Rouge Unlimited range right now, it can be a little bit confusing trying to differentiate between the new formulas and the old ones. The quick way to tell is to see the print on the tubes. So these are the new black cases and you can see the white print on these. So this would be one of the older OG formulas, the sheers, the creams, the mattes. And if you see a red print, the red shoe Uemura, then this signifies that it is one of the amplified textures. So without further ado, let's get down to the swatches. MCR342 is a soft matte coral shade. It is very beautiful and slightly on the warm side. So if you have a warmer tone to neutral tone skin, this might be a shade that you would like. Now this is one of their OG matte textures. So it's very light, it's very suede-like, it's very silky and smooth. It is not drying, it does not stick your lips together, and it does not feel heavy at all on the mouth, which is what made this formula so popular to begin with. Now the next shade, MOR570, is also one of their star shades, and Shu Uemura calls this bloody orange. It is a rich red-orange shade and very, very on point for the season. Like every other matte supreme that I've tried, this is extremely silky, very lightweight. The colour does not want to layer and build on itself sometimes. But that's not a bad thing in my book, it just tells me that that's not what the formula is designed to do. The last OG star shade is MPK376. This is Gangnam Pink, the very famous magenta deep fuchsia that was so popular a couple of years ago. Now, I remember buying my first tube of MPK376 years ago, I think maybe six or so years ago, on a flight to Paris. I bought it at Duty Free and I love this colour. I always suggest if you have warmer toned skin and you want to try out a cool toned pink or magenta or whatever it is, go with a very deep, rich shade like this one because it's very, very much easier to pull off regardless of your skin undertone. Now let's move on to the Amplifieds. The satin ones will come with an A label. So ARD163 means Amplified Red 163, which is Shu Uemura star red color. And if it's a matte, Amplified Matte, it will say AM. So AMBG963. The first shade I'm going to test is AMBG963. This is one of the beige shades and it's an Amplified Matte. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous pumpkin colour which is perfect for fall. It is going to see a lot of action in the next one or two months with me and I love it. Texture-wise, the amplified mattes drag against the lips just slightly more than the regular mattes. They do have a more dense, more tacky sort of a texture. It's just that the tube of lipstick itself has a much denser, more solid kind of a consistency. The amplified mattes do also contain 20% more pigment than the regular mattes, so these have one swipe opaque coverage. Now RD163 is Shuemura Star Scarlet. It is a beautiful, rich, intense red with just a hit of warmth in it and it is supposed to be designed to be flattering for most Asian skin tones. Now I don't really believe in that because I believe even if you're Asian you could have cool toned skin, you could have neutral undertones like me, so it's just about testing a red on and seeing how it sits against your skin. But this is a red that is very flattering for most of the women that I've seen it on. So I do still suggest checking this one out. And of course, since this is Shu Uemura's star colour, they have it in every single texture that they make. Everything from sheer to cream to matte to amplified and then amplified matte. 
The one that I have here is a regular amplified satin. Oh. Like the amplified mats, this does have a slight tackiness to it as you drag it across your lips. It will pull against your skin slightly because of how dense and how pigmented it is. I do also want to point out that the amplified satins have 35% more pigment than the regular satin or cream lipsticks from the Shuru Mura range. So these pack a punch. This is amazing. It is really one swipe coverage and the colours will just come off so intense and so vibrant on your skin. The lipsticks do have a slight scent to them, not overpowering, something like a soft citrus. It's almost not noticeable except when you're applying it. Also another thing that I'm noticing right now as I'm testing all the lipsticks is that the Amplified formula is leaving a little bit more of a stain on my lips as I'm trying to remove them. And that's not surprising considering how much intensity and how much pigmentation they have. This last shade is a brown or beige tone and Shu Mura has been adding quite a bit of neutrals and beige tones to their lipstick range in recent years. Uh, unlike most East Asian brands which tend to focus on reds, pinks, corals and other vibrant colours, it does seem like Shu is paying attention to the demand for neutral, wearable, flattering skin tone colours. MBR762 is a chocolatey latte brown and this is an amplified satin texture. Now this is a very 90s kind of a deep rich mocha brown. It is neutral but it is still kind of sultry, kind of dramatic and very very appropriate for fall. I do also imagine that this would be a colour that would look absolutely bomb on a very deep skin tone. As I do comparison swatches on my arm, you can immediately see a very obvious difference in the opacity and the level of pigmentation between the original formulas and the amplified formulas. I do want to remind you that sheerer does not mean inferior in any way. You do have to bear in mind the trend in Asia for lipstick shades to have a little bit of an ombre or gradient effect. Powder matte, suede like finish and vibrant colour but not so much on intense payoff. But of course with trends coming in from the west as well, the new amplifieds definitely appeal more to people who want very instant knockout intensity. So that is it for the swatch component of this video. I'm going to wear one of these shades out for the rest of the day. I'm going to check in and let you guys know how it held up, whether I had to touch up, whether it bled, smeared, whatever it is. And um, I'll give my final conclusion at the end of the video. Just a quick end of the day check in. This has lasted very well without a liner, without a special blotting or layering or anything like that. Uh, but it's kind of expected because just from the feel and the consistency itself, I could already tell at the start of the day that this was not a lipstick that was going to smear around and really fade too easily. So it is kiss proof. You will see um, staining if you touch your lips, but not a whole lot comes off, it really does cling to your mouth pretty well. I will say what is really really nice though is that the colour stayed pretty even. The original matte lipstick formula from Shu Emura is a little bit sheer so as the day wears on and some of the colour kisses off or transfers, you will start to find it looking a little bit patchy around certain areas of your mouth. With the amplified matte formula, it does stay on very very well and I'm expecting it to be slightly similar with the regular amplified satins as well, just not as long wearing as the mats obviously. 
I also want to mention you do not need a lip liner with the Amplified Matte formula. It has stayed very crisp and very neat around the edges of my mouth, which is a fantastic thing. Even with drinking, talking, eating through the day, it did not start to smear, it did not feather, it did not start to go patchy around the edges, which is fantastic because this means if you were to touch up, you can just dab around the middle of your mouth and go. You do not need to really touch up around the edges of the mouth. Comfort level wise, I would say it's neck and neck with the original matte formula. It's not too much heavier, um, it doesn't feel tackier or too different on the mouth and it's not making my lips look parched or wrinkly either which I really really like. It is still on the higher end side at $42 sing so it's a bit of an investment but I would say if you find a colour that you love, I would get these as uh, special occasion lipsticks just because of how intense and how vibrant and beautiful the colour are. These are very, very colour true. What you see in the tube is what you are going to get when you apply it right on your mouth. And that's it for my quick first impression swatches and overview of the new Amplified lipsticks from Shu Mura. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!